You make designs in mid-journey, but you don't know how or where to sell them. Well, this will not be a problem anymore, because today I'll show you how you can sell your mid-journey designs for print-on-demand as a digital product on Creative Fabrica. If you never heard of Creative Fabrica, it's a great marketplace with 7 million in traffic every month, and it's basically for digital products for print-on-demand specifically. First, you should create a seller account, because the normal account is just to download, and making one is so easy, just go to my profile, then my account, and click on this, turn my account into a designer account, and fill up your name and designer name and here link your Redbubble or Etsy or Cheap Public Shop and for design portfolio you can link your same shops or better you can create an Instagram account under the same name as your designer name and post your designs there cause this will be reviewed manually having the same name that you applied with as well as good designs will guarantee approval and most of people get approved now the next step is to check the demand you gotta see what's already selling good on Creative Fabrica in the moment so you can make a similar designs okay so click on graphics here then you will see what's popular this week so we have for example colorful dragon and baby animals cute baby unicorn and a lot of other stuff so let's click on the unicorns design and i believe these designs are made by ai let me know what you think guys in the comments this is ai vibes for sure anyway here you can see this designs got over 800 favorites which means it got a lot of downloads of course now you have to check the competition for this cute baby unicorn graphics because you don't want to get into a niche that have a lot of results for example this cute baby unicorn niche have over 1500 results Results, which is a lot because if I put myself in the shoes of the customer who wants to download a graphic for this niche I will just scroll down a couple designs to find what I need to work with or I will not even scroll I can just download the first couple designs that's why you must first find a niche with much lower results and a good amount of demand before you start the designing process on mid journey so from this same popular this week section let's open this time this uh, baby turtles bundle and look at this over 2000 favorites that's insane this one got a lot of downloads for sure and the crazy part is when I personally download from Creative Fabrica I don't favor it I just click download and in case this always happened this design bundle got more than 2000 downloads and that's a lot of profit anyway still this baby turtles niche got over 1000 results which is a lot of competition of course so let's go back to the popular this week section and choose another niche okay like this one cute black dragon it got almost 3000 favorites and for the competition there is only 200 now that's a niche you can get into also another quick tip to know the demand in a certain niche is to check the other graphics as well in the same niche in this cute black dragon niche if they got any favorites so for example we got this bundle with 74 favorites and also the other designs bundle got a decent amount of favorites as well so you are in a good niche now the next step is to create the designs in mid journey for this cute black dragon niche and you have to create a design bundle just like the best sellers so you can compete with them so the prompt that i use pretty much always for print on demand is slash imagine t-shirt design graphic of what I want in this case cute black dragon and I add a specific style here so here we got a kawaii style sometimes I do the vintage or retro style it depends on the niche just describe what you want exactly and next I add white background then two dashes and no mock-up this will make you avoid mid journey giving you the graphic on a t-shirt cause when it reads t-shirt on the prompts the both think you want a t-shirt and the result but you don't want that obviously so when you get the results they will not always be perfect if you're not happy with the results you just have to keep experimenting with the prompt or just by clicking this regenerate icon to get different results just like I did here and I got this one looks pretty good now when you're happy with a certain design and you wanna download it just click the upscale button here in this case you too and just click the design an opening browser then save the image next step is to upscale your design because it's by default kind of low quality so go to this website replicate and leave it in description so here select your design and leave this scale on 8 then click submit and you can obviously notice the difference in the quality here so now click download and here right click and save image now I'll do this exact step with the other couple designs that I have generated on mid journey so I'm in Photoshop now, I will use it to remove the background of the images because we need the PNG files of the images, that's what the majority of people want and also we're gonna use Photoshop to make the thumbnail image for the bundle just like the best sellers so we can get clicks and of course get downloads and for the resolution that you should use is 4500 by 5400 it's the best one for print on demand anyway let's start with removing the background of each image so just click on select then on subject and automatically the graphic will be selected but it's not 
not perfect, you should of course fix the selection if anything goes wrong. And by the way, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use 4OP, it's like Photoshop in a web browser and also free, I'll link it in the description. Anyway, after you fix the selection, click on this select and mask and in this page, I like to decrease the shift edge just a little bit like this and increase the contrast just like that. And now all left to do is to click the mask icon here in the bottom and you got yourself a PNG graphic. I will just do the same step with the other images as well. Alright now I have to make this kind of thumbnail that will include all of my images like the other sellers. So I just put all of the dragon graphics in one simple background just like this and I added here a color splash that I got from Creative Fabrica itself. I also download stuff from Creative Fabrica for prints on demand so combine it with mid journey you will get some unique designs and I have a free trial link in the description if you're interested. Now let's talk about your profit so you get 50% to 75% depends on the sale. If you did refer your customer to your design you get 75% and if Creative Fabrica got the customer for you you get 50% and you're looking for passive income of course so obviously you will get always pretty much 50% and the other thing is you can price your designs as you like but in most cases people have subscriptions on Creative Fabrica, you will only get around 50 cents per download or even less sometimes but it's still good. If you have a lot of this digital product designs that sell using the strategy that I showed you earlier to pick the right niche, you will make sales frequently and you will generate a decent amount of money passively each month. So that was it for this video and if you want to sell your mid-journey designs or Redbubble this time, make sure to watch this video next.